Hey guys, welcome to our new house. Let's check out a really fun space today. Primary closet, let's go. Welcome to our primary closet. This is such a fun space and it's been quite a journey to get to this from what it was before. Um, we worked with Closets by Design, which was the most incredible experience. Uh, because this space is so large, I had to be really intentional with it. And really my overall vision was wanting it to feel more like a boutique than a closet. And you'll see that once we get into all of the details. But the way it works with Closets by Design is they come to your home and do a sit down consultation with you. You basically tell them all your needs, all your wants. They take an inventory of everything you have so that they know, well, how much shoe space do you need? How much hanging space do you need? How many shelves, drawers, all those things. They take that all into consideration. But my favorite part is they take all that information and they don't create like a pie in the sky, dream closet that's way out of your budget. And then you start have to have to peel things back. They start at the base and you build up. So it's not like an ego killer when you do it. It's fun because you're like, oh, I have more space in my budget. Let's add this, 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 and this. And Closets by Design has so many options. You'll see that Jason has another portion of the closet behind us right now, but we kind of made the spaces feel different. So my hardware is gold, Jason's hardware is black. You can do little things like that. And again, there's so many fun, intricate little details. So let's get into all the fun stuff. Okay, so this full wall, we basically did a bunch of double hang and you can tell from here, I have gold hardware all over my portion of the closet. Um, we have some folding sections here. What I love that Closets by Design offers is, again, the different color hardware, but they also have different levels of material. So they've got a low, medium, and high, depending on your price point. This stuff comes in so many colors. It blew my mind. You can get a blue closet, a green closet, and then, of course, the traditional colors like wood, black, and we went with classic white, just to keep it light and bright in here. Um, another great feature is that all of their shelving is adjustable. So you'll see all these little pinholes right here. I can make the shelves as wide or as thin as I want. So it can always change as I redecorate in here or whatnot. It just, I don't know, it grows with you, which is awesome. I have some shoe, some long hanging sections here, and then we'll get into this drawer bank here, which I love. Rather than having a big dresser in our bedroom, we just have the drawers right here. I don't need anything in that bedroom, so I can fully get ready in here. And this is where I keep my t-shirts and tank tops and bras and underwear and all that stuff. But one fun little detail we added in is the jewelry drawer. Can you tell I like gold jewelry? <laughs> so up here is kind of more of my everyday stuff that I wear all the time. Below is more of my, I don't know, costume jewelry or fun kind of stuff, but it's just a great way to keep it all organized. This on top of the drawer banks, this whole countertop area, I think it will be forever changing. Um, again, I wanted it to feel more like a little boutique. So I have like my sunglass stand and my necklace stand, all of these items from Amazon, which I will link for you. Um, but it's just like a fun little way to decorate the space and make it feel more like a room and less like a closet. Now, if you look right above us, we've got a chandelier in here and the vaulted ceiling. So it makes the space feel a lot bigger. That chandelier is the Cecilia chandelier. You can find it online anywhere. It's all over the place. And it was actually the very first light fixture I purchased for this entire home. I saw it like two years ago, loved it and said, I need that and it needs to be in my closet. And it turned out perfectly. <laughs> okay, other fun little details we've got in here. I have a whole shoe wall. Again, these are all adjustable. So it made it really easy because heels obviously need a wider space. Flats need a skinnier space. So I was able to adjust all of that. We added stuff in like the pull out full length mirror if you wanna check yourself out. <laughs> and then little things like a belt rack, which Jason and I both have. Um, again, these, this adjustable shelving here, I kind of styled it with some of my designer bags. Here's my coffee and my phone if you want to see it. These are actually my wedding shoes. Crazy little custom Manolos. I feel like they totally needed a moment in this closet. Now, let's go check out Jason's side because it's pretty sweet. And let's get right into the elephant in the room or the feature of this whole closet, Jason's Air Jordan wall. You probably saw it, we sneak peeked it right at the beginning of this video, but I also posted a big reveal on my Instagram. You can go check it out. This was a surprise for Jason when I designed the closet. He's had this Air Jordan collection for decades. It has grown and grown and grown. And in every other house we've had, 
These have sat in boxes, unworn, unused, tucked away in the garage, and we finally had the space to do something with it, so I just wanted to create something really cool for him so he could see this amazing collection. And Closets by Design, my consultation, is really where this idea came to fruition. I was thinking, oh, let's make a shoe wall with just you know floating shelves so it looks like a foot locker. But my consultant with Closets by Design was like, well, let's put it behind doors to keep the dust off. Let's add some lighting. And again, all of these shelves adjustable. So you know, everyone's thinking, what, is, what are you gonna do with that when you resell the house or whatever? Someone could hang their sweaters here or, or fold their sweaters here, or their sweatshirts, all those things. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Not a problem. <laughs> the rest of Jason's closet uh, is exactly what he needs, probably a little more space than he needs. He just needed some folding stuff for his sweaters, sweatshirts, pants, he's got hanging. He has his own set of drawer banks. And then another little fun detail, I guess, is these are hampers. We can put our darks, our lights, towels, anything else. These little hamper baskets pull right out so we can take them right to the laundry room, which is an interesting thing to bring up because I wanna show you another intentional detail I did with this closet. Come check it out. When I was creating the floor plan for this house, I did one tiny detail that I thought was pretty obvious and made the most sense, but anytime we give someone a house tour, they're like, oh my gosh, this is brilliant, this is genius. If you're building a home from the ground up, you have to do exactly what I did. Guess what's behind this door? The laundry room. Clothes going straight from the closet to the washer and dryer. It does not get any more convenient than that. The primary closet turned out better than I ever could have imagined. I owe a lot of credit to Closets by Design. They helped us create this incredible space. I wanted something light, bright, airy, a place where I want to hang out, a place where I want to get ready, and most importantly, a place where all of my clothes fit so they don't end up on this chair, which sometimes they do, but that's okay. I'm not telling anybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming to check it out. We will see you next time with a new room.